Hey everyone, this is Seth from the RE Tipster blog. Today I was doing some research on a piece of vacant land and I, I kind of started to realize that there's a couple of tools that I use all the time, every single time I'm, I'm researching land, whether or not I live near the property. In this particular one, I'm not necessarily researching for myself, but I'm kind of teaching somebody how to do it. So while I'm doing that, I just want to show you the process that I go through just to make sure that I am really, really, really getting a very good look at this property to truly understand what it is that uh, that I'm getting into. So. The first tool that I use is Agent Pro 24-7, as you see right here. And the other tool that I use is Google Earth. So first of all, we're going to go here to Agent Pro and log in, and I'm going to show you exactly what I look at. All right, now once you're logged in, you're first going to go up here and choose the criteria by which you're going to search. In this case, I just happen to know the parcel number. A lot of times I'll search by the address or the owner name. But uh, then you go over here to the county, put in the name there. And I'm going to pick that. And I'll put in the parcel number. And we search. And now here's the parcel right here. Now, first of all, you would obviously want to pull up a profile report if you're a subscriber, which is basically just going to bring this up and show you a lot of the inner working details of the property. Um, but just for the purpose of what I'm trying to show you here, as you can see with this parcel map, I mean, it kind of shows you the dimensions and the size of the property. You can turn on the labels here and see all this. Uh, you can even do this kind of a bird's eye view and zoom in, turn around, just see this kind of thing. But even this, I mean, it's helpful, but it doesn't tell you everything. And usually what I would love to have is just the ability to kind of drive by the property and see it like on site. And we obviously can't do that when the property's on the other side of the country. And that is where Google Earth comes in. Uh, what you do here is you go to the profile report and you take these two numbers the latitude and longitude and I'm going to paste those right into Google Earth like so put a comma between them put that in there and then we're going to search and this is going to bring us back to the exact pinpoint location of the property based on what Agent Pro said we can actually zoom in and get the actual street view of the property and I think uh, what's going to be interesting once we see this is that you know over here we've got what looks kind of like a, a you know torn down building this doesn't look too great over here so let's actually see it on site and with street view you know we can kind of look around can sort of drive down the road a little bit see what's going on here let's uh, go down here All right, now we look to our left, kind of just get an idea for what kinds of houses are around, what kind of condition they're in. Uh, and, you know, basically sort of gives us an idea for whether or not this area is even desirable to live in and what kind of people would want to live there. We can keep going. So you can kind of see that. Uh, if we exit street view again, maybe we want to go over here, see what it looks like. Right there. Okay, we've got looks like another torn down building. Looks like just another really nice luxury mansion down here. So as you can see, you just sort of get a, a much better idea for what this place looks like on site and what the surroundings are like. And just kind of ask yourself, I mean, if you're in the market for land, is this the kind of property that you'd be looking for? I mean, would this be your first pick? And, you know, if it is, I mean, what kind of price would you be willing to pay for that? Or what kinds of prices are similar properties and areas selling for right now? If you didn't have access to Google Earth or any of this stuff, you obviously couldn't uh, get this kind of insight into the actual neighborhood. At the time of this recording, Street View is not available everywhere, especially in some of the really rural areas. You're not going to be able to have access to this, but... Even if you can't, I think it's always worth, first of all, at least checking. And then when it comes to you know, the topography of a place like this, you can kind of see the, uh, the, the levels of the land. This particular area is not a very hilly place, but if there were mountains, I can just show you an example quick. We're going to quick go over to Colorado Springs and just see what that looks like. All right, now when we zoom, zoom in on a place like this, uh, and by the way, I'm just using my right and left mouse buttons to do all of this. And then if you hold down Control or Shift, you can kind of tilt uh, tilt the world on its, on its axis. So um, 
as you can see, when you sort of zoom around here, I mean, if there are hills or if the property's on a cliff or something like that, you would never be able to see that if this was all you had access to because this just looks directly down from the top. But Google Earth obviously gives you a lot more information. Um, and, I mean, really, pretty much every other month or so, it looks like they're, you know, improving the system in some way or another. Looks like you can now see, you know, even the outlines of buildings and stuff like that, which they didn't have just last year. So, um, anyway, whenever you're researching vacant land, or really, for that matter, any kind of property, I mean, if you can't go there and see it yourself, or, or if it's even inconvenient to do so, I mean, Google Earth is really making it extremely, extremely convenient for us to get a lot of this information and insight without necessarily going there and seeing it on the spot. So hopefully you found this helpful. Appreciate checking out the video, and uh, I wish you all the best. See ya.